This is a tutorial for the crazy tetrahedron Mars. And unlike the other tetrahedrons, except for Venus, this one has two sides with circles that move separately. And the other two circles are move with the outer edge pieces. So first I'm going to mix it up. And since there's no solid sides, it should be pretty easy to mix up. Okay, so now it's pretty well mixed. And the first thing you want to do is to reduce. But the very first piece you want to solve is this white and yellow. Because that's the only edge piece that goes between these two. The ones that move separately. So first I want to start out kind of like this, I guess. And I want to put a yellow inner edge piece or a white inner edge piece in their right spots. So right now I can do that with the yellow, like that. I'm just going to take this out without messing that up. And I want to connect this with the white now. Like right there. Okay, so now I can go from here and I can just move this over and this piece will be solved. So now that one's finished and you want to try to sol reduce all the other ones without messing this up. So for example, on this yellow side I have a blue outer edge and a blue inner edge which I can match together. To avoid messing up this one, I'm going to first match it but then put another piece that is not solved here and put it back so it stays solved. So I'm going to do that with all the other pieces until I reduce all of them. Just keep reducing. And that was the last one. So, so far it's pretty simple. And now you want to match up as many as you can without touching, without moving the white or the yellow sides. So using only the orange and blue, try to get as many as you can. So I'm going to put this here. Okay, so now everything's in the right place, except for these two. And what I want to do is put to put both of them on the white or the yellow side. And then I'm going to do the same move I did before, except now it's going to get kind of messed up. And I want to see if, if I turn it this way, then I want to make sure that another orange piece will be able to come into this spot. In this case, it can. If I want to do it this way, I want to make sure that a blue piece can come into here. And right now, well, actually you can with this one. So you can go either way. So I'm going to do with the blue. Put it back. Now I'm going to take it to this side and do the same exact thing, except solving it. Here, that. Okay, and now this is a position which where I can easily solve these two. So when I have two of them that are connected to the yellow or the white side, this time it's both yellows, then I can solve it from here. So I'm going to flip this around, and the first thing I want to do is to take this out to the side just once, Making sure, well, it's you can only do that right now because the whole white side is solved. So I'm going to take that out to the side so it's not over here. I'm going to put both of these onto the white side with the yellow side up. Like that. And then that white and yellow piece I took out earlier, I'm going to replace it with whichever one I can. 
So in this case, it's a blue and yellow. Now from here, I'm going to replace this yellow and put this blue and yellow back up here. Put it back. And now everything should be in the right position so I can solve all of them. Now I'll put this one back. And now all the outer edge pieces are in the right spot. Now I want to reduce the corners. And to do the corners, I have to make sure that either the white side or the yellow side, there's always one, only one color up here. Preferably the same one as the center. So all whites or all yellows, which it already is in. So from here, I'm going to just match them up as much as I can. Here's two yellows matched up, and now I want to rotate these two so that the yellow side is not matched up, so that one of them that I have to fix is, on, is facing up. So here I have to turn this one counterclockwise, I can't turn it clockwise, because if I turn it clockwise then this piece will be up, and that piece is already solved. This one is not, so I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. So I also want to spin this one, and I can turn this counter or clockwise. So it's, the algorithm I'm going to use it has to turn one corner piece counterclockwise and the other clockwise. So th since this is going counterclockwise, I'm going to make this go clockwise. And to do this, I need to make sure that I don't use the white or the yellow, since that can mess up the edges again. And I want to put these two corners right between the white and yellow, so I can use left and right sides. So I'm going to put it here. And this is going clockwise, counterclockwise. For this algorithm, I'm going to do L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. And then L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then put it back. Now it's like, now none of the pieces are already solved, and I can just move it around again. Trying to solve as many pieces as I can. So I'm going to do it there. Now this one has to turn counterclockwise or clockwise. This one can turn clockwise, so I'm going to turn this counterclockwise. Put it over here. Now I'm going to do the exact opposite. It's going to be L, R inverted, L inverted, R, three times. And then L inverted, R, L, R inverted, three times. And then put it back. Now these two are solved. And I turn this counterclockwise, and this one also counterclockwise. But, as I said before, for this algorithm to work, one of them turns clockwise, the other has to turn counterclockwise. Uh, one turns counterclockwise, the other turns clockwise. So from here, I'm going to do any of them. It doesn't matter for now. So L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then reverse it, L inverted, R, L, R inverted, three times. Okay, so now these two are good, but this one still has to be turned clockwise now. And I can't turn these two anymore since there's only one piece that's not solved. So I'm going to bring this one up here, and I'm going to rotate it with this one. This one goes clockwise, so this one goes counterclockwise. L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. Okay, and put it back, and now just keep on rotating. Now these two are done, so I want to put this one that's not solved. I'm going to replace that with either one of these. Since this one's already here, I'm going to do it with this one. For this algorithm, I'm going to swap the, the two adjacent to each other, and these other two adjacent to each other. So it's going to swap all four of them. From here, I want to make sure I'm using orange and blue, because I have to use the left and the right, and I don't want to turn the white or the yellow side since that'll mess up the edges. From here I'm going to do R inverted L R 
I'll invert it three times. And that swaps them. And this one is already solved, but since there's no other piece left, I can't really do anything about that. So this is going to turn clockwise, this one turns counterclockwise. L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. Okay, in this case, nothing will be solved, but I can move this over here so that just this one becomes solved, and although that doesn't fix this one completely, it still helps because this piece orig originally had three unsolved pieces, now it only has two. This one already had one unsolved piece, and it's just still one unsolved piece. So now I'm going to turn this one clockwise, and then I'm going to have to move this one up here so I don't mess up this one. So this one goes clockwise, this one goes counterclockwise. L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times. And then L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then put everything back. Okay, so somehow I actually messed up the algorithm, so this piece should have been down here. So I'm going to bring it over here, I'm just going to swap these two again. R inverted, L, R, L inverted, three times. And the edges look mixed up right now, but since I didn't turn the white or the yellow piece, I can easily solve those later. So right now, I'm just going to focus on the corner pieces. So this one goes counterclockwise, this one goes clockwise. Put this over here. L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. And then L inverted, R, L R inverted three times. Put it back. Okay, and these two still have only one salt, but this one has uh, one unsolved, and this one has two unsolved, so I'm going to mix up this one, solve this one first. And if I rotate this one, then I'm only going to have to turn the white side one more time and I should reduce all the corners. So this one goes counterclockwise and I don't want to move this one so bring this one up here. I'm going to do L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times and then L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times and then put it back rotate it once and all the corners are reduced So now I'm going to quickly fix the edges here, and without using the yellow or the, or or the white side, I'm going to turn this here, and place. So now all the edges are complete, and look around and make sure that all the corner pieces are not solved or all in the right place. In this case, none of them are in the right place, which is okay because for my next algorithm, I have to have all of them in the wrong place. So the next algorithm is the same I used before to swap the corners. I'm going to swap these two and swap these two. So first find the piece that goes over here that's yellow, orange, and blue and look for that one. Well that one's directly underneath. So if I put this one here, that one there, these two will be solved. This one there, that one there, and they'll be solved. So from here I'm going to do R inverted, L, R, L inverted three times. Now they're on the correct position. Now I just have to rotate them 
and I'm going to turn this one clockwise, this one counterclockwise. So again, I have to put them between the white and yellow sides. So I'm going to put it here. From here, I'm going to do L inverted, R, L, R inverted, inverted three times. And then L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. and put it back. Now this one goes clockwise, this one I'm going to put it between the white and yellow goes counterclockwise. So again L inverted, R, L, R inverted three times and then L, R inverted, L inverted, R three times. That's how you saw the crazy tetrahedron Mars. Thank you for watching.